All right, here we go on Illustrator number four. And it's going to be, sorry, that's the wrong window. It's going to be about gradients. It's going to be about building gradients. And this is not an assignment where you're going to make anything super fancy, but I want you to know about gradients on, an, uh, on projects that you're going to do later. You're going to use gradients and build gradients. And so I want you to know about it now. This is kind of a practice thing. The point value isn't super high but I want you to, to learn it and do it uh, so you'll, you'll be able to use it later. There's a help page here and the help page looks like this and here is um, what you'll have to do. <clears throat> there, there are going to be two sets of gradients that you're going to work on. These, these are the requirements here. You're going to do some preset gradients and that goes super fast. It's really quick and easy and I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, I'm not going to read this to you, but it's on the help page. And if you scroll on down, you're also going to build some custom gradients. And those are going to take a little bit longer, not a super long time. This is not a long assignment. Um, but the custom gradients do require a little more thinking and work than uh, just the preset gradients. And then you'll just need to save um, everything once you get it done and turn it in. All right, so let's get over here to Illustrator. Well, actually, no, let's go back to Classroom. I also have for you an artboard here. Uh, there's not a lot on the artboard, but I posted it to help keep you on track, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to click on this number four gradients. I'll click right there. And remember, this is how, you, how you're going to download it. you got to go up to the top right-hand side and do the More Actions, and then do the Open in New Window. All right, so a little three-dot menu in the corner, Open in New Window. And then you'll get a download button, and so you can download it. The file will go into your downloads folder, and then you can go to Illustrator. Once you, I already have Illustrator running, so you'll fire up Illustrator, and you're just going to open that file. So I'll click Open, and I will look in my downloads folder, and here it is. It's just called Gradients right here, and I'm going to open that up. Let me make that bigger, and I'm going to zoom back on that just a little bit, and I'll bring it over this way a smidge. All right, so here's what we've got. There's kind of a dividing line in the middle. It's nothing, nothing magic about that, but uh, what I'm going to ask you to do is on the top half, you're going to do five examples of preset gradients, and there's a reminder right here on the artboard. I want preset gradients up here on the top part. On the bottom part, five examples of custom gradients. Now I'm going to show you the difference, and I'm going to show you how to do them but five up here and five below. It's a total of 10. I did that math all by myself. Over here by the artboard to the left, I put a reminder that this is, it's a really, 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 really good idea today to get a couple of panels out that you're going to use. I'm going to go up to the window menu up top and I'm going to look for swatches. If you look carefully, they're alphabetical, and if you look carefully, you'll find the swatches panel. If you grab on to the top bar of these panels, you can put them wherever you want. You can float them around and park them wherever you like. There's another panel that we're going to use today. It's called the Gradient Panel. And once again, it's on the Window menu. So you go up to the Window menu, and you're going to look for Gradient. And once again, these are alphabetical and on the list. So I'm going to get Gradient. And I'm not really going to need this one yet. So I'll just kind of set it aside. It's going to come in useful. It's going to be useful when we get to the custom gradients down here. All right, so here's how we do this. To, uh, to, to do some gradients here, you're going to have to stick five shapes in this area above the line. And it could be any shapes you want. If we go back over here to the uh, shape tool that we learned in the previous assignment where you did, you did different kinds of rectangles and ellipses and polygons and stars, you could do any of those that you want. I don't care. It doesn't matter. They could all be rectangles. They could all be circles. They could be different things. It's up to you. You need five shapes drawn. I'm going to move this swatches panel a little bit. You need five shapes drawn up here on the top half of the page. All right, so do it, right? Just if you want to just draw boxes, that's fine. It's up to you. I just, I'm just using the rectangle tool. I'm going to move the swatches panel over. And I'm just dragging out some boxes, and you know, th those could have been those could have been ellipses, polygons, stars. I, you could have a mixture of those things. So don't please don't sit there and say, "Well, I have to do it just like he did." No, you don't. You just need five shapes, 
Five shapes, that's what I want right there. Okay. Now our next thing is going to be to go to the the swatches panel that I pulled out here. And this is where you're going to find, this. these are preset gradients that we're doing right now. Preset gradients, you don't have to build them yourself. You don't make them yourself. They come with Adobe Illustrator. They're part of the program, right? They're part of the software. So I'm going to go to this little library button right here. All right, I'm going to click that library button, and you'll see a menu that pops out here. And here's, I found gradients. Okay. So I click that little library button, bottom left-hand corner of the swatches panel. And here's gradients right here. And then when you see that little side menu fly out, these are all collections of gradients. You can use anything you want off of here. Anything that sounds interesting to you, go get it and use it. All right. So like, there's things like metals and uh, sky and, I don't know, water and uh, earth tones. And so you, you, go, you go get whatever you feel like it sounds interesting to you. Maybe I'll go... Uh, fruits and vegetables. I'll go to that. Boom. So I'll just click it. Now when I clicked on fruits and vegetables, another little panel that looks very much like the swatches panel popped out here, but these are all gradients on this swatches panel. I'm going to rearrange a little bit here. Oops. Uh, I just drew a little tiny rectangle there, but that's all right. I don't care. Now this is a drag and drop thing, right? And my only rule on this is on these five boxes or these five shapes that you have up here, you have to use different. They all have to, you can't have the same thing over and over. All right, so let's say I want to grab this one. By the way, if you float over them, you'll get a little pop-up like this one's called fig and this one's called apple and this one's called peach and so, you know, they have names. All right, so I'm just going to grab one. And this is carrot and I'm going to drop it and that's a gradient. You can see the bands of color in there. That's what gradients are. Uh, wow, that was easy. Drag and drop. Bingo. Just drag the gradient up to the shape, drop it on there, and you've got it. The only thing you have to do is these all have to be different. You cannot use the same thing twice. Now, you might be thinking, now wait a minute, Mr. Arvin, does that mean that I could just drag five different gradients out of the fruits and vegetables category and just drop them on here and I'm done with that part? Yeah, yeah, it does mean that if that's what you want. If you're the more adventurous type, you could go back to this little library button. By the way, the library button, is on the bottom left-hand corner of this panel and this panel over here, right? So this is the swatches panel, and this is a little separate gradient panel that opened up. All right, so I could go back to the library button, and I could go back to gradients, and I could get something different if I want to. That's that's up to you. They have they all have to be different, right? You have to have five different gradients, but I don't care what they are. All right, so I'll go to metals this time, and so now I get. And you see, fruits and vegetables is still right here. But now I have this other tab that says metals, and I'm going to move this down a little bit. And again, it's drag and drop. So here's one that says pewter. All right, I'll just drop that on there. These are gradients, bands of color. Then you'll notice that some of them are radial gradients. Boom, that one's a radial gradient. What was that called? That one's a brass radial. All right. Hey, look, the top part's done. Top part is finished. So let's move on, right? That's all you have to do. These five shapes have to be filled with gradients. No two of the gradients can be the same, and you're good. All right, well, let's move ahead. So down here on the bottom part, when we get into custom gradients, okay, well, you're gonna have to make more shapes, right? So they could be boxes. Again, you can make whatever you want. Stars, boxes, polygons, do, do whatever you want. I think this time I'll use some, I'm just gonna come along here and use some like circles and ovals and I'm not being super careful about how I draw them right I'm just getting them on there we're not making anything that is going to be super fancy today all right so I've got five shapes down here cool all right and I'm just rearranging I'm kind of rearranging my panels when I work in Illustrator and I've done a lot of work in Illustrator but when I work in Illustrator uh, I have panels all over the place usually and then I put them away when I'm done you can just hit the little X and Put them away when you're done. All right, so I'm going to, first of all, just deselect here so that nothing is selected. Okay, so here's what this is all about. Custom gradients you make yourself. You don't go to the library. Don't go here and go to gradients and pick something out of the library of gradients. That's not what I want. All right, custom gradients have to be built yourself, on your own. Okay, so I'll just pick a shape here, and I'm going to, um, I'll just... 
Uh, gosh, I'll just start kind of making this up. I'll, I'll pull a color over here to the gradient panel. Well, here, let me. I uh, <clears throat> just clicked on, I, I, to begin with, I just clicked on that little black and white thumbnail right there just to slap a gradient on there. Um, now, I'm going to use some swatches here and make my own. So if I drag a, like I just grabbed a green swatch and I'm just going to drop it on that bar right there. This is a little bit, it's not quite the same as Photoshop. Now I've got an orange swatch, I'll drop it on there. You could bring over as many swatches as you wish just grab grab a, uh, a little color box a swatch off the swatches panel drop it onto that bar right there and it's putting these little color markers along here and if you've got a color on there that you don't want click like i don't want this black so click on the black dot and pull down with your mouse pull down the screen so the black dot is gone i'm going to get rid of the white i'll pull down on the white and so now i have built a custom didn't mean to do that I just want to move this you can move these things um, I've got a custom made three color gradient All right and you can have as many colors as you want in there and you can see this I had this circle selected when I started building this gradient and so it is getting the gradient that I'm building right okay well so that's that's what a custom gradient is you pick the colors you pick the style and I'm going to show you some more things as we go all right, so I'm going to make sure I just kind of deselect on that, and then let's let's build something else. Um, here's another way you could do it. If you're, like, I have nothing selected right now. I haven't clicked on any of the circles or anything like that. So uh, let's say that I'm going to do a blue. I'll bring some blue down and kind of some, oh, it's going to be, it's not really gold, but it's kind of brownish, all right. And then I'm going to pull the green down, get rid of it, pull the orange down. I don't want that. And I'm going to pull the yellow down. And so it's kind of a blue and orange-ish looking kind of thing. All right. There we go. You can uh, grab these little circles and slide them around. This is a custom. Yeah, I made it. You saw me make it. Now, none of these circles over here turn blue and orange because I didn't have them selected. So what I could do there is I can uh, just grab this. This is a thumbnail of the gradient. And I can just drag it and drop it and boom. All right, so yay, there we go. Now let me show you something else. I'm going to, um, I'll just design another, what shall we do? Let's do like a yellow and black and green, a three color gradient once again. You can have, a two is enough, right? All right get rid of that brown, move the black over here. All right. Now, here's another thing. Once again, as I was building this, I've got a black, yellow, green gradient, which I did myself. That's some country's flag, isn't it? Anyway, um, I didn't have any of these circles selected at the time, and so you don't see the black, yellow, green over here yet. But but here's what I want to show you. On this, this little thing that says type right here, I'm going to switch this to be a radial gradient, and you can see what it looks like right here. And I'm going to take that and drag it and drop it on there. And so there's another custom gradient. Cool. <clears throat> Home stretch. Almost done. Uh, now, watch what happens if I select this. If I select this circle first. I've got my black arrow tool from the toolbar over here. And I selected the circle first. And now I'm going to come along here and I'll use kind of a cyan color and um, a red color that might be really ugly i'm going to pull off the yellow i'm going to pull off that green i'm going to pull off that black and so i'm just going with like a cyan and red and now you'll, you'll notice that because i had that circle selected um it, it's the the gradient is showing up as i build it right i, I just you know, I was working on right here. I was working on building the gradient. It shows up immediately. And that's because I had the circle selected or the oval selected as I was building the gradient. All right. Well, here is our last thing, right? Um, I want to show you this third style right here. You can do linear. You can do radial. The linear is just like it just kind of goes either up and down or across or whatever. And the radial is more like a circular thing. But this is called a freeform gradient. And I'm just going to kind of drag that over and actually i'll just click it um and <clears throat> as soon as i i had this oval selected i'll show you this move this over here i had this oval selected and i clicked on that freeform gradient and here's what it looks like right now okay now i can i can take my mouse and i can just 
click on any spots where I want. And you see these, when it, wherever I click, it drops these little uh, control points. And I, I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to click it and hit backspace and get rid of it. I don't want that one. So you can click anywhere around in here. You see the, cur the way the cursor looks, and you click anywhere on here, and it drops these little, like, circular, I don't know, call them whatever you want. They're like little eggs or whatever. Now, with those planted in the different locations, I can now bring, I can grab a color and drop it on the circle. And so that little circle right there, I just assigned to black. And then I'm going to grab some orange and drop it on that one. And so that one is assigned to orange. And I might just kind of do a little, I'm going to assign that one to black. And then, and you could, you could make this very colorful if you wanted to. And you can have as many of those little dots. You can drop in as many of those little dots as you want, right? Um, that's, you know, I might throw in some gray on that. It's not going to change it a lot. And then I kind of like that black right there. And then following that black, I'm going to go back and get some more orange. Drop that in there. I just changed my mind on the gray because I kind of like the alternating thing that I've got going with the orange and black and orange and black and orange and black. All right, so, and these, these little n nodes, whatever you want to call them, you can grab them and move them around. Look at this. This is actually, I don't know, I'm a nerd. I think it's pretty cool. A lot of you are probably saying, this is dumb, but I think it's pretty cool. All right, so I can, I can manipulate those little circles and, and just kind of move those around. And that's called a freeform gradient. It is a kind of gradient. It's called a freeform gradient. And again, what you do is you select your object and then um, select this button right here for freeform gradient. And then plant your little like circles wherever you want them. Just draw, and you can move them, right? I can just grab them and move them around. So you plant your little circles on there wherever you want, and then drink, brag, <laughs> I'll get it, drag colors over and drop them on the circles. So look, I'm going to go ahead and close up some panels. I'm all done. So I'm going to close up the swatches panel. I'm going to close up the gradient panel. And uh, yay, look at this. This is finished. There are five preset gradients on the top half, five custom gradients on the bottom half. That is the assignment right there. So you could go File. You could go Save As. Uh, save on your computer. And it's going to be called Number 4 Gradients. You could do that whole thing where you stick like the word Done on there and go to Save It. Right now, if you see this uh, this box about Illustrator options, just click OK, and it is saved. All right, folks, it is your turn to go to work.